Another hot issue for Missouri voters was the adding a local marijuana tax. This was the first time the cities and counties could ask voters for their own sales tax as legal weed sales began at the first of the year. But KMH 9's Rebecca Gannon explains some municipalities may not be able to collect their local tax. Now, the state already collects a 6% sales tax on anything sold inside a dispensary, like here at Stairway Cannabis in Blue Springs. The question that many places answered last night is if cities or certain counties would be able to charge a sales tax as well. Voters said yes. Now, the bigger question is, can both cities and counties charge for it at the same time? See, already here in Blue Springs, the tax on recreational marijuana would bring in about $250,000. Up in Liberty, roughly $300,000. And Jackson County estimates it may bring in as much as $4 million for the entire county. But the question again, can they both collect it at the same time? Where I think we just need to settle the issue is what does the definition and the constitutional amendment mean when they say local government? Does that include both of us or just one of us? Um, at a time. Now, the place where this may ultimately be decided is the courts if the Missouri state legislature doesn't take this up. Remember, this is a constitutional amendment. And the people who ultimately pay for it are the customers at places like Stairway Cannabis here in Blue Springs. Now, let's crunch the math numbers real fast. If you spend about $80 in here, Blue Springs would get about $2.40. And you ultimately, as a customer, would spend about $12 or 12% in sales tax. That comes to about $9. Here in Blue Springs, Rebecca Gannon, KMBC 9 News. Kansas is one of only four states where any kind of weed is illegal. Lawmakers in Topeka are working on a bill to legalize medical marijuana, but have not been able to pass it in previous sessions.